Hello again, I'm Melinda Torres. In this module, we will explore the importance of good hygiene. We'll look at what germs are, why they should be avoided, and how we can avoid them through good hygiene. So what are germs? Well, the scientific term is actually microbes. Microbes are microscopic organisms that live everywhere, in air, dirt, rocks, water, as well as on and in the human body. While some microbes cause diseases in humans, plants, and animals, others are harmless. In fact, some microbes are necessary for human existence. Unfortunately, microbes are also the source of infectious diseases. Harmful microbes include viruses such as HIV, fungi such as the lung disease aspergillosis, bacteria which can cause conditions such as botulism, and protozoan parasites such as the one that causes malaria. So then, how do we avoid these pesky germs? One word, hygiene. While good hygiene won't eliminate all sources of harmful microbes, it's a good start. Such things as bathing daily and brushing and flossing twice daily can help eliminate the spread of microbes, but we also encounter germs throughout the day. Washing your hands before food preparation and after food preparation and after using the restroom is important. Some other hygiene etiquette tips include covering your mouth with a tissue when coughing or sneezing. If you don't have a tissue, the CDC recommends coughing or sneezing into your upper sleeve rather than your hands. Also, in general, try to avoid touching your face particularly your eyes. Microbes, which may not pose a threat to your skin, could lead to serious infections if they get close to your eyes. Additionally, make sure to wash your sheets and towels on a regular basis. A good rule of thumb is three uses for a bath towel. Experts recommend even fewer uses between washing kitchen towels. When it comes to bed sheets, washing them weekly should be fine. While these tips are an excellent start, there's a great deal more information out there regarding hygiene. Visit the CDC and the National Institute of Health websites from time to time to read about current trends in hygiene. These two resources provide valuable information about hygiene as it applies to our ever-changing lives. If you haven't already done so, watch the included video on hand washing tips. After reviewing this video, you will have your next quit check quiz. As always, if you don't get all the questions right the first time around, review the material and try again until you complete it. Once you've completed this quit check quiz, the next section on education and prevention of STDs and STIs will unlock.